Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, the Dietary Supplement Listing Act of 2022. Oh God, it's a beauty. Check out all my books on audible.com. So as if the federal government doesn't control enough of our lives, you know, there's, we're under the thumb of the federal government everywhere we turn. From uh, the tires we put onto our car and what we, the foods we put into our body. So what this is, is by two, uh, a, a Republican and a Democrat. So this is bipartisan. Braun um, is the Republican and then Dick Durbin. Uh, um, a, a Democrat. I wonder really who who's paying them to to put this out there. Somebody somebody's paying these two guys. There's no doubt about it. Um, so what this is going to be? I'll just make it real simple for you because it's not a really long bill. But what it says is uh, we'll have to go to the federal government to get approval for any supplement. So so your multivitamins all the way down to you know macuna, macopa, ashwagandha, you know spirulina, chlorella, kind of things I, that I sell. So you would have to get the approval of the government for your particular supplement. Well, that'll drive every single small company right out of business. All the diets, all the small little companies uh, that are out there will just be gone overnight. I mean, who could possibly start listing all their products and then wait for approval from the federal government? You've got existing uh, supplements and then and then proposed supplements and then discontinued supplements. You got to file all this paper, paperwork. It's a huge amount of paperwork. Every single you know supplement that you have, you have to. You know, it'll probably take you an hour to list each sing, single supplement. Now I'm a little tiny comp company, and we have, you know, over 250 different products here. So I'd have to list every single one of those out there. Or they would just, you know, come and raid me, I guess, or, you know, start shutting everybody down. You know, I think the big corporations would do pretty good under this because all the small companies would just go out of business overnight. It seems like that's what they just want to do on everything. Just put out, put everybody that's small out of business like they did during the pandemic and then um, all the big guys uh, all the big the big, what we call the bigs got bigger okay and the bigs the big supplement companies they're gonna get bigger under this they're gonna get much bigger and then companies like mine will just go out of business you know sometimes in it after a while you feel like you just want to give up I mean how much how much paperwork do these people want well you know they want more than you can give them and again what they're gonna have in these other companies is just a department that they do nothing but churn out this kind of paperwork for the federal government and they're gonna survive and the quality of the supplements are gonna go right down the tube and you're gonna get what other what whatever giant corporations want to give you for supplements and that'll be your only alternative this is pretty serious stuff um, um, you know, are they going to do that for foods? No, because you know, people talk me, ask me all the time. You know, they'll say your spirulina and chlorella is that is that FDA approved? Well, thank, thankfully, thank God that the federal, the, the FDA doesn't approve foods. Okay, they if they find a problem with a food um, or a supplement. Then, then they come in and intervene. Maybe this is hurting people. Maybe it's killed a few people. Maybe it's got bacterial problems. That's fine. That's what they should do. But approve a food like broccoli, maybe? Are they going to approve that food? Or maybe garlic? Or maybe corn? Or wheat? What What are they going to approve? And then what are they going to disapprove? You know, I've been in, uh, you know, investigated or really, you know, reviewed by the FDA and they show up here. And they're very nice people, to be honest with you. And uh, they were here for like three weeks on and off, kind of kept coming back and coming back and looking at all our stuff and uh, we passed it we got through the whole thing it wasn't easy um, they demand so much paperwork but it's this I idea of traceability so you can you know that you bought this supplement for this this whatever it was say you, this raw material from one company you turned it into this product and then you had you could trace it when it went out to this person that's 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 reasonable that's a lot of paperwork but it's reasonable because then if you have some contamination or somebody got sick or something happened you know you'd be able to say yeah I got it from these guys over here maybe it turns out this is the raw material was bad to begin with who knows so I'm, I'm all in favor of that <clears throat> but when we start talking about every single supplement, well, the people that came here from the FDA, FDA, there were a couple of them, they had no idea what any of my supplements were, and they're going to regulate them? I was showing them shilajit, I was showing them ashwagandha, I was showing them uh, frankincense, spirulina, chlorella, tonkat ali. They had no idea what any of these supplements were like just the average person doesn't know what they are it's people that are you know in the natural world and they want to take supplements and they've heard about these things they're the ones that know about it the average person knows about you know McDonald's french fries 
and that's about it you know they don't know about supplements and these people didn't know anything about them and frankly they were very impressed with these wow you know maybe I should tell my mother to take this one no oh, he said you should she had some serious health challenges you know but uh, the idea of them coming in we're gonna register these the, every single product with the federal government no thanks and then they're gonna tell me whether it's approved or not this is very dangerous stuff let me tell you something they want to control every aspect of our lives and uh, you know I've never made any kind of a political uh, and I don't consider this politics, but I'm, I'm in Michigan, so I'm going to call both my senators, and I'm going to say no to this, and that's what you should do. You should call your senators, because that's where it is right now. This is a Senate bill, the Dietary Supplement Listing Act of 2022. I don't know if it has a number. I think it's 403, but it doesn't matter. Um, mainly, if you go look up, if you just look that up online and read through this thing, you'll see that I have to give every last detail of my life, because I'm the listing agent, and then I have to give every last detail of, of this particular supplement, submit it to the FDA for review, and then they'll get back to me. I'll bet you that's going to be just within a day or two. Sure. What if it takes weeks? Well, I guess I'm not selling that. And I'm sure there's, you know, they haven't gotten in here yet, but there's lots of fines and all sorts of regulations that if you don't list it, they'll just take it off the market. And they'll be working, don't worry, they'll be working closely with all the online platforms, uh, Amazon. Amazon does whatever they want them to do. If, Am if, if they tell Amazon, because I've had experience with Amazon, if they tell Amazon we want this and this and this, Am Amazon just passes it along, no problem whatsoever, because, you know, they don't want any trouble. They just want to go on with making huge amounts of pop uh, money. You know, they're one of the bigs that got bigger during the pandemic and that's what this is all about the bigs getting bigger dr. Bob I'll see you next time hey folks check out all my books on amazon.com uh, I've written seven books now uh, but this one's on audible silver the miracle mineral end of infectious disease uh, the cure in the mirror nature's protocol for surviving cancer that's on audible and then my most popular book I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years never promoted it never marketed it it is the miraculous properties of ionized water the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance third edition I revamped the whole thing it's on audible too so those are all read by the author's voice my voice and I hope you like them